In this video I'm going to look at two tools found on digital SLRs and some high-end compacts that allow us to assess the exposure of a picture immediately after we've taken it. Now of course in the film days we simply had to take the picture and hope for the best. One of the great advantages of digital is that we can review our pictures and decide whether they're acceptable or whether we need to retake. Now the two tools that I'm going to look at are highlights and the histogram tool. So let's get started. Now one of the things we want to avoid at all costs with digital photography is overexposure because this can lead to a condition called burned out highlights. That's where the very light parts of the picture uh, have no detail in them, they just go white. And there's very little we can do to recover that uh, even using sophisticated software like Photoshop. So the best thing to do is to avoid that uh, at the taking stage. If we look at this picture, here we've got a classic example of some uh, subject matter which is very prone to being overexposed. We have these very, very light areas in the picture. There is a control on this camera called highlights which enables us to check for this very, very quickly. If I just scroll through to highlights, we can see it there and if we look in the picture, we can see that it's flashing. Certain areas of the picture are flashing. Now that's indicating that those areas have gone beyond the reasonable amount of exposure which they should have and are tending to become burnt out. The more uh, the area of the picture that goes black like that and is flashing like that, that means that those areas are overexposed. And it's a good idea to take another picture using uh, less exposure to just control those highlights. Now the highlights control just gives us a very quick way to check for overexposure. But if we want to check the exposure in a slightly more sophisticated way, we can use another control which is called the histogram. I just press down once on my control here, I get the histogram displayed on screen. Now this is a fairly well exposed uh, average sort of scene and this is the histogram for it. Now what does a histogram do? Well, it's simply a graph and it displays all of the tones in the picture. And the darker tones in the picture, the blacks and the dark greys are down at this end. And the lighter parts of the pictures, the highlights and the white areas are at this end. And all of the mid-tones are obviously in the middle. What it does is it counts all of the pixels in the picture, uh, which are very dark and stacks them up at this end. And then gradually as the pixels get lighter and lighter, we come up to the other end. So this is an example of a fairly well exposed picture. We don't have any uh, excessive bunching of the pixels at either end, which would indicate too much or too little exposure. Here by contrast, we have a very dark picture taken indoors in an aquarium under very poor lighting conditions. And a lot of the picture is shadow area and is very, very dark. If we have a look at the histogram for this one, we can see we have a lot of pixels down here at the bottom end of the picture, these are the shadow areas, um, fairly big spike here which would probably be mostly the seahorse and then a big tailing off of the histogram and very very few tones up in the light area. So this is indicating not only that this is a fairly dark toned picture to start with but also that we could probably afford to have a little bit more exposure, a little bit of uh, extra exposure just to bring these highlight areas in a little bit more because they are just a little bit lacking. And then finally we have a picture where there may be some slight uh, potential for overexposure up here in the sky. Uh, clouds uh, particularly can be quite difficult to control often in terms of overexposure. And if we just press down and have a look at the histogram for this picture, we can see we've got quite a nice spread of tones across most of the picture. When we come up to the very brightest highlights we've got this bright spike which is going right off the end of the picture and quite a way up. And this is indicating that there are potentially quite a lot of pixels which are overexposed, tending to go off the scale at the right hand end. And in fact, if I just click down once more to go to the highlights control, we can see that confirmed, that we have quite a few uh, large areas of picture in the clouds which are tending to become overexposed. So if we've taken this picture in the field and reviewed it like this, this is telling us that it might well be wise to take another picture with slightly less exposure, maybe a third or a half of a stop less, just to control these highlights a little bit better and just arrive at a situation where our histogram is not going right off the end quite so much. So there we have two very useful tools for checking our exposures. The highlights, which just gives us a very quick indication that we're not straying into overexposure. 
and the histogram which gives us a much more detailed look at the exposure right across the image and is very useful uh, for checking the exposure as a whole. Now I would recommend that you get used to using these, play about with them, look at them, look at them for each picture that you take in, in all sorts of different circumstances and get used to interpreting them uh, because they are extremely useful in making sure that you always get just the right exposure.